Hey, what's up? This is Santosh from Design Clans, and uh, welcome to the Design Clans podcast. And today you're going to learn how to become a successful graphic designer. There are two kinds of people who get into graphic designing. One is who wants to take a graphic designing as a profession, and other one would be an entrepreneur or a business owner who is looking to create designs for his brand or business. I don't know who you, who you are. You might be somebody who is looking to. Uh, become a professional designer or you might be uh, an entrepreneur who's looking to create designs uh, quickly and on demand and if you are one of the above then this podcast is for you my friend so tip number 1 let's talk about the fundamentals of designing make a note of these things because it's going to be super important and this what you what i'm going to tell you right now is the base or the foundation of every design creative and to get good at designing you need to understand and master the use of each of these elements number 1 color theory and psychology did you know colors bring out emotions in people colors are so powerful they have the power of influencing somebody in making a buying decision so to get good at designing understanding color theory and uh, psychology becomes a key so if you do not know color theory and psychology i have a link in the description which uh, which will take you to my youtube video where i have a tutorial on color psychology make sure you watch it number 2 font psychology fonts like colors can also bring out emotions in people depending on how they are being used that is why you will see bright bold fonts on buttons because whoever has put it over there it can be a marketer or an entrepreneur is trying to get you to click on that button that is just one of the example fonts can be used in different ways to influence you into taking some kind of an action number 3 design fundamental are lines lines are the most basic of all elements in design and you can say they are the building blocks of graphic design lines can be long it can be short it can be straight curved it can be horizontal it can be vertical diagonal and it can also be solid dashed or it can be thick or thin you know and uh, usage of lines in any of these any of the creatives that you create you know it's going to give your design a certain kind of a personality i have some examples on uh, uh using lines in uh, designing as well there is a video i did on youtube on the same topic you can click uh, on the link which is there in the description and uh, watch that video if you would like to watch it next is shapes shapes may be curved rounded or certain angle it can be a circle rectangle square there are varieties of shapes that you can use in your uh, creatives you can use shapes in flow charts infographics your business presentations or your uh course presentations and in all kinds of design and different shapes and the way they are used in your design can convey different moods and emotions depending on how you are using them so make sure you get good at using shapes in your design don't do too much of it don't do too less of it just uh, depending on what you're trying to use use the correct shape number 5 is contrast this is my favorite as a marketer and an entrepreneur this is what makes your viewer or makes a certain element uh in your design stand out and makes the viewers i move towards that element right it can be a catchy text it can be a catchy a design element it can be anything in your design which is popping out of the design and uh, when you get good at it you will be able to create great looking thumbnails great looking ads for your marketing as well so contrast is another beautiful design fundamental that you need to get good at and it's going to help you create great looking marketing designs number 6 use of spaces there is negative space and positive space a positive space is adding elements all over your uh, design creative and uh, there is no empty spaces left to put any additional elements so the only way i can explain this to you is uh, not explain this to you show this to you is this is a podcast so i won't be able to show it you can either check the youtube video or just go to google and uh, type positive spaces in uh, designs and go to images you'll get an idea of what positive space is and negative space is the quite opposite of it it is using minimal elements and giving more empty spaces around your uh, design element same thing go to google type negative spaces in designs and you will get examples of it Number 7 is background and textures this is the most basic of all uh, create design creatives 
uh, background is what kind of background you're going to use, whether it's going to be plain, whether it's going to be color, or whether you're going to be use textures in your background. Depending on what kind of business you are and or what kind of design you're trying to create, you got to choose the right kind of background uh, colors and uh, textures to make the creative look amazing. Just go to Google and look for uh, text background textures. You will have an idea of the textures I'm talking about. Number eight is balance. Balance is the distribution of different elements that you have in your designs and across uh, your design creative. Elements like text, colors, textures, negative space, positive space, and also the shapes that you're going to use. There shouldn't be too much of it. There shouldn't be too less of it. You should use all these creatives in such a way that the design looks more stable and it is easy on the viewer's eyes. Number nine is understanding layers. This is one of the basic thing that you need to know. You're using Photoshop or you're using Canva. It doesn't matter, right? So whenever you're creating design, the first thing that you have is the base where you have the background color and layers are like, think about uh, onion, right? It has different layers of skin. Similarly, your creatives or your designs are going to have different layers. So the first one is the base, which is your uh, background color. And let's say you draw a square on top of it, that becomes your first layer or layer number one. And then the next element that you're going to draw, or it can be a text, or let's say you draw a circle, it becomes layer two. And then you add a text, it becomes layer three. So this way you add one layer, uh, layers on top of each other. So your design creatives are made up of layers. And once you play, uh, learn to play around with these layers, your design creatives are going to look amazing. And next is uh, getting good with alignments using the rule of thirds. Uh, rule of third is a visual uh, concept. This is not something I can explain to you in a podcast. What I can do is go to Google and type rule of thirds and go to images and you will see these lines. There will be two vertical lines and two horizontal lines. And it's the way you use elements within this. You can use these lines as a guide and uh, make and use the elements of following this guide. Let's say you want to add a photo, make sure the photo is on one of the vertical lines uh, and the on the right of it, let's say you move the photo to the first vertical line, on the right side it becomes empty space, which means you can add text over there and once you remove all those lines, it will look amazing. I have created a video on it, you will find the uh, link in the description you click on it on the same topic um, you will be able to find a rule of thirds just go there and watch me uh, explain to you using canva i'm pretty sure there is more we can add every designer has his or oh, his or her own way of building uh, their own design foundation this is uh, the design foundation my designs are built on and if you have something to add or if you wish to add something, make sure you use the comment section and add. Tip number two, what are the design tools that you got to use? Depending on who you are, what kind of designer you are, you might be somebody who is looking to become a professional designer or you might be an entrepreneur. So if you are an entrepreneur, there is only one design tool that I highly, highly recommend. It is Canva. Canva is for free forever unless you want to move uh, to their pro subscription where there is a monthly or a yearly fee. It's not very expensive as well. You'll find the link in the description. If you would like to use pro for free for 30 days, just to get an idea of how Canva Pro works. I also have a course on Canva. It's called Canva Designing Mastery. You might find the link in uh, the description or uh, in this podcast. Uh, go ahead and check that out. Okay, it is a very detailed training of how to use Canva and how to create designs using Canva. And I highly recommend Canva for entrepreneurs because Canva can help you create designs quickly and on demand, which is absolutely key for any entrepreneur when he, is, uh, when he or she is looking for more time and money. You don't have to outsource any of your designs. You can create it yourself using Canva and it will create some great looking designs for you. And it's easy to use. And if you want to get into professional designing, I highly recommend these three tools. One is Adobe Illustrator. This is for creating illustrations or vector graphics. And uh, then we have Photoshop, the most favorite tool for any professional designer across the world. 
and then we have Adobe InDesign. Adobe InDesign will help you uh, combine Illustrator and Photoshop and uh, help you create great looking designs as well. Very, very useful when you're creating print designs like brochures, business cards or books and things like that. So depending on who you are, what you want to become and uh, uh, what kind of designs you are trying to create, you can choose uh, your tool. There is no hard and fast rule that you have to use Photoshop or Illustrator. When you want to create designs quickly, you can use Canva as well. And uh, designing quickly is absolute gold if you are a professional designer as well. It can help you create designs quicker and it can help you complete more jobs quicker, which means more income. Tip number three, there are different ways you can earn using your design skill. One is just go to Google, look for freelance websites. There are so many of them. Go ahead and uh, sign up over there. Set up your design portfolio. If you have if you have not created any designs in the past, or if you are new, if you are new to it, then create designs, uh, create any random designs that you want, and go ahead and upload it in your portfolio. Make sure the designs are good, but okay, and this will help you get some uh, freelance projects as well. They also have contests. They also have uh, bidding, and there are multiple things uh, you can do depending on what freelance website you go through. So go ahead and test each of these and over a period of time, I'm pretty sure you're going to get design projects through these websites. Another way of uh, earning is build your own website, create your own design portfolio and build authority in the market. Let people know that you're a designer. Run ads to your websites through Facebook, run ads through your, to your website through Google Ads and uh, learn about getting traffic from different sources or learn marketing it's going to be very very useful when more people come to your website there is a very high possibility they might be interested in your services as well and this is going to help you earn directly from clients and another way to earn is once you get good at designing let's say you get good at a certain tool or maybe you are good at a certain software then go ahead and create your own course once you create this course you can upload it in course platforms like coursera skillshare udemy or you can also upload it in your own learning management system. If you don't have one, then you can use Teachable and use their platform to sell your courses. And this is going to be another additional source of income for you. Tip number four, always avoid using copyright resources if you do not have licenses to it. Uh, what I'll do is in uh, this podcast, in the description, I will give you my personally curated design resources it's a PDF, it's for free, go ahead and download that. And in that I have given you uh, non-copyright resources from where you can uh, download audios, videos and even images for your work. It's going to be super useful. Most of them are for free, uh, the resources, some of them are paid like Shutterstock and there are a few websites they would ask you to pay for a certain image. You may not have to pay if you find your uh, creative in other places that I have mentioned in the PDF. Well, that's about it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's podcast and you got a lot of value out of it. If you did, please use the comments below and uh, let me know. Or you can also connect me with my on my different uh, social media channels and let me know what you thought about this podcast. And make sure you like and uh, follow or subscribe to my podcast wherever you are. You might be using iTunes, Spotify, Amazon Music. I'm not very sure which is your favorite platform. So make sure you follow uh, the Design Clan podcast. I regularly upload uh, useful content for entrepreneurs and designers in my uh, podcast. That's about it for today. Thank you so much for listening. I value your time a lot. And uh, this is Santosh here. Thank you for listening to Design Clan podcast. Have a wonderful day.